Well, some young people are uncovering hidden history at an unlikely place in St. Louis, Valhalla Cemetery in North County. And by preserving old Chinese graves, some students are finding new perspectives about their own sense of belonging. These are two burial sites that were of a 60-year-old, um, we believe, gentleman and a 60-year-old um, girl. Lost stories of Asian American history in St. Louis are now being unearthed. In this specific area, these are um, graves from like the 19th century. Young people tending to these neglected graves show that Chinese Americans have a place deeply rooted in Missouri history, even though it hasn't always been pretty or even recognized. And this is in a period of time where there was a lot of anti-Chinese sentiment, so not many grave, not many cemeteries wanted Chinese to be buried in their grounds, right? And at St. Louis, at least, Valhalla was the one of the only cemeteries that allowed Chinese to be buried. Stories dating back to a Chinatown in St. Louis that lasted nearly a century. Still, racism kept these graves in undesirable locations. That's why a few were at risk of sliding into a creek, including that of a six-year-old child. The first time we came here, it was pretty much, it was pretty much buried with like leaves and dirt. We um, helped stabilize the graves that were in risk of falling. Students are saving the sites of the abandoned with the hope of teaching the community today about belonging. And I think for them, we would like for the broader community, for our region to better uh, acknowledge and help us preserve that history to show our youth of our diverse city that their history is seen and their history is also valued right here in St. Louis. And yet the greatest outcome is that young people are finding new value in themselves and their place in a shared history. I feel like it kind of made me feel more connected to St. Louis, I guess, knowing that there is such, like, is such a big community right now, but also there was a big community then. Well, you know, the student group has launched a GoFundMe to actually preserve these grave sites at Bahala, which I think is amazing. Um, they're also hopeful one day that they can get some sort of, you know, a national marker to honor the graves as mm. well. But I really love what some of the students said. It connects them to Missouri. Mm -hmm. It connects them to mm -hmm. this idea of, hey, there were people here before the Civil War. Yeah. You know, to put that into perspective, it kind of changes the whole narrative of, of belonging in Missouri. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's good to know your history. Yeah. It's just good to know your history and for everybody else to know it as well. Yeah.